Yes, good morning, students. Yes, our today's topic is data representation. Okay, data. Data is any fact that can be recorded. Okay, any info, any fact we need to record for later uh, processing. Okay, we call it, uh, we call this data. Like uh, uh, any numbers or any, it can be in the form of numbers or it can be in the form of alphabets or any other symbols. Okay, which we may need for later processing. Okay, so that, that we have to store in the computer and we call it as data. And when the data is given a meaning, we, uh, we call it information. Okay, data is in the raw form. We don't know what it is, what it means. And when the meaning is given to the data, we call it information. Okay, example, uh, some, uh, I have some uh, numbers, okay, randomly I have some numbers like 75 and 80, okay, 87. And when I say these numbers simply to you, you don't know what the meaning is. Okay, what do I mean by this? And when I say this, these are the marks of uh, the particular student, phi not one. Okay, then you understand that, okay, these are the marks uh, the particular student uh, got. Okay, so the, now the data is getting the meaning. So we, we can call it as information because now I can use this for further processing, like finding the total or finding the average of, uh, of that student. Okay, it can be used and to decide, even to decide whether the particular student is passed or failed. Okay, so this gives a meaning. When the meaning is given to the data, it becomes information. And here we are in this chapter, we are going to study the different data types, okay, and number system. We call these data as number system, which are in the coded form. And how to convert between the different numbers, different types of numbers. Okay, so here uh, data types, binary information is stored in the uh, memory. If in, when we give some data to the computer, it is stored inside uh, as uh, in the binary form as uh, bits one or zero, right? In the computer memory, or even also we discussed uh, the processor also has registers. It is stored in processor, uh, okay, temporarily in the registers or it can also be stored in the uh, memory, main memory of the computer in the form of uh, bits. This uh, registers may contain uh, data what we need for processing or it may also contain control information. Okay, data are the any kind of data like numbers, letters or special symbols. And control information is the group of uh, signals that uh, give some commands. Okay, control, control units send some command signals. Okay, control signals, and that is stored in the registers. Okay, so that is control information. It is a command to do some operation for another part of the computer. Okay, to perform some operation, some commands can be given. So this, this is also uh, information. Okay, control information. We call this as control information. And data is what we need for processing, what we take from the uh, user and process. Okay, the computer process. So the different uh, data types are <coughs> numbers, okay, that is uh, used in arithmetic computations. For arithmetic processing, we use numbers and letters are used in data processing. Like uh, I said, uh, the marks of the student and when we know the name of the student, okay, we can uh, do further processing like the name of the student and which particular department the person belongs to. These are all alphabet, uh, alphabet okay? The data information consists of letters. So uh, such information or other symbols, okay? This, these are all the different types of data that can be used. So we call it as to get, uh, these together as number systems, okay? These all the coded numbers, okay? The information that are coded in uh, different forms, okay? The different number system are decimal, binary, octal, and hexadecimal, okay? This decimal number system is the one we use. We give the data to the computer in decimal form, 
right? We use only decimal numbers and computer stores it in binary form. And these octal and hexadecimal, we, we don't generally use now. Okay, octal number system is used in earlier in mainframe computers as the input data and hexadecimal uh, data is used in, uh, even today it is used in microcomputers and microprocessors. Okay, they take uh, hexadecimal data in, as input data, hexadecimal numbers as input data. Okay, but all these different uh, numbers, number system uh, take different forms. And we will also here study how to convert when a decimal number is given to the computer, how internally the decimal number is being converted to binary for getting stored inside the computer. Okay. And even binary when it is given, it has to be given as output when the result is to be displayed, the binary number has to be converted back to decimal. So how the conversion takes place. Okay, and octal, when octal number is given, how it is converted to binary. In any form, the number is given, uh, we may use decimal, octal or hexadecimal, but it has to be finally converted to binary. And at the other end, for the output, binary has to be converted to the decimal, octal or hexadecimal form to the user. So it is represented with the base, okay, the numbers. Decimal number has the base 10 and binary. Decimal yeah, we'll see that decimal number has base 10 and binary has the base 2 and octal has uh, the base 8 and hexadecimal is represented with the base 16. Okay, so this weight all you will understand this uh, we'll discuss it in the uh, in after few slides. So coming to this number system, we use decimal number system. Deci stands for 10, right? The numbers we have in decimal are 0 to 9, 10 digits, 10 numbers. And uh, computers use binary number system. By means 2, okay? So it is, uh, yeah, 0 and 1. The binary number system has only two bits, that is 0 and 1. Uh, why computers use this binary number system is the reason is here it has uh, the storage the computer storage units whether it is memory or it is register uh, you know, this data stored in registers these storage units are simply electronic switches okay these are represented as electronic switches each switch can uh, represent one of the two states either uh, zero or one means it can be on or off. When it is on, when the switch is on, it represents the bit one. And when it is off, it represents the bit zero. Okay, you can see in this, the, here the switch is uh, closed, means it is, it is on, okay, it is connected, so it is on. Okay, it represents the data one. And this represents, the switch is off, it is opened, it is disconnected, means it is off, there is no connection between. And this represents the uh, bit zero, okay? The memory unit, the storage units are represented as electronic switches. Each switch can hold one of these two states, either uh, on or it can be either on or off. That is the reason the computer uh, you know, stores information in binary form. It is easy to store in binary form. And he, uh, here we can have different combinations of numbers. Okay, that all we will discuss. So we use a bit, bit is binary digit. Okay, the short form of binary digit. We use a bit zero or one to represent the state. When it is off, it is zero. And then when it is on, when the switch is on, it represents one, okay. So uh, decimal has the numbers zero to nine, okay, with the base uh, 10, I said, and binary has these two bits, zero and one. And here uh, you can see the two switches, when, when both the switches are off, okay, they represent it as zero, zero, okay, the combination of uh, bits it can store is zero and zero, okay. And when this, the first switch is off, it represents zero and the second is on represent one. So the combination of num uh, binary numbers, this particular uh, no combination of switches stores is zero, one. And if you see the third one, here it is on and off. 
okay on represent 1 and off switch represent 0 so the combination it stores is 1 0 okay and here both the switches are cl uh, on closed so it is on 1 1 it represent 1 and this corresponds to the decimal 0 the 0 0 combination of binary bit 0 0 correspond to decimal 0 and 0 1 corresponds to decimal 1 and 1 0 correspond to 2 decimal 2 and 1 1 is 3 okay so if suppose we have three switches this uh, let us consider this as registers okay here is a register it has two bits two bit register okay a register that can hold two bit at a time okay so if both these switches are off that means it represents zero zero now if let's say it has uh, three registers there are three registers okay three bits uh, in the registers yes let's say the number uh, the register has three bits so if all the the first possibility is the different combination it can have is zero 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 right all the switches are on all the switches are off so that represent the number binary combination zero 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 and if one switch is on here it is on it represents zero zero and one and this switch is on so it is zero one zero and if these both are on zero one 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 zero zero one zero one 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 zero one 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 this represents the number zero one two three four five six and seven okay this is the three bit register which can hold three bits okay these are the combinations so when we have the that depends on the number of bits a two bit register can have okay it can be used to represent four digital numbers okay it can it is like uh, yes it is calculated as two power two okay two bit register can hold the combinations are two power two so four combinations four numbers and here we have three bit register which is two power three okay it is eight the combinations we have will be eight okay eight different combinations of on and off okay of this which is so this can represent used to three bit register can be used to represent eight different numbers hope it's clear yes okay see here you can see to um, make it understandable uh, yeah the switch is on here this how, the register has how many bits in this how many switches are there Seven eight. eight okay so eight bit register that can store eight so the combination is like here it is on and the next is off on on off off on and off so this represents one zero one one zero zero one zero and we know that eight bits make one byte okay one byte is group of eight bits so how many numbers this particular registers with eight bits uh, how many combinations uh, uh, possible combinations this particular register can have two part it's two power eight okay there are three eight bits okay it's an eight bit register so it can have one minute Yes, if you see this register, there are eight different switches, okay, that represent one, zero, one, one, on represent one and off zero, here one, one, zero, zero, one, zero, okay, group of eight bits is one byte, so we can call it as a one byte register that stores, uh, no, one byte, and here as there are eight switches, the different combinations of data, okay, different, uh, yeah, combinations, uh, possible combinations are two power eight, which is, 256 okay yes bits and bytes okay bit you know it is a single unit of data 
okay stored in memory is called a bit it has value either 1 or 0 and combination of 8 bits form a byte okay so as i said in the previous slide uh, with one byte that is 8 bits okay the computer can represent one of 256 different symbols or characters Okay, there are 256, uh, it can make 256 possible combinations like uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 and 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, okay. So here 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, the four different combinations of two bit. And then once that is, it becomes 1, 1, we change it here. Okay, 1, 0, 0. And the combination will become all zeros here, 1, 0, 1. And then it is 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 1. Okay, this way it can have 256 different combinations of data. Okay, the common number system we discussed decimal, binary, octal and hexadecimal. So decimal with, uh, is a number system that has base 10. The symbols uh, that can be represented are from digit 0 to 9 and binary system has Yes, binary system has base 2. The symbols represented are 0 and 1. And octal has base 8. Uh, it can represent the symbols 0 to 7. And hexadecimal has base 16. It can represent the 16 symbols, different symbols from numbers 0 to 9. And 10 is, uh, decimal 10 is represented in hexadecimal as A. Okay, and decimal 11 is here as uh, represented as B till f f is equivalent to decimal 15 okay this is hexadecimal uh, here so these are the different number systems that is commonly used decimal as i said decimal is used by uh, you know when we program we give decimal numbers to computer it has to be converted to binary form a uh, with a base 2 okay base 2 number system it has to be entirely converted all the symbols from 0 to 9 what we give has to be converted in the form of 0 and 1 and octal if the input is given as octal okay that has base 8 has to be converted to base 2 system okay with 0 and 1 and hexadecimal if suppose i give the number uh, a9 okay that has to be converted to binary form So here are the, uh, the relationship between these number systems you will see, okay, zero, yes, it is binary zero zero, you can write it as, as it is given two digits here, zero one, okay, zero, uh, zero zero, binary represents the decimal zero and it represents the octal zero. and hexadecimal zero. Zero one in binary represents the decimal one, octal one and hexadecimal one. And one zero, the next combination is after zero one, it is one zero, the other combination. It is, yeah, it represents decimal two, octal two and hexadecimal two. And the next is one one. Okay, both the switches on. When you say 1, 1, you can uh, you know, imagine in your mind that in the memory, the switches, so the, the, these are electrical, electronic switches, okay? The state of that is on, so it is 1, 1. These are the four different combinations with two bits registers. And once that is over, the next would be 1, 0, 0, okay? So that represents the decimal 4 and octal 4, hexadecimal 4, then 1, 0, 1, decimal 5, octal 5 and hexadecimal 5 and here 0, 0, 0, 1 again the same combination 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 okay with the one bit at the one at the third bit position then next 
once that is over 111 you start with the fourth digit okay one and all becomes zero again you start the combination zero one one zero one one okay zero 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 one one zero one one okay once that is done the next the third bit becomes one okay again start the combination zero 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 one one zero one one okay now four bits are over this one 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 represents decimal 15 octal 17 and hexadecimal f so this f is equivalent to decimal 15 after f we will have 10 number 10 in hexadecimal okay here until uh, till 9 and then we have a b c d e f okay the first uh, 15 is yeah, 16 digits 0 to 15 okay 0 to 9 and then 11 sorry 10 to 15 are represented here in hexadecimal as a b c d e and f so the 16 digits of hexadecimal then again from 10 okay it starts from 10 so here the hexadecimal 10 is equivalent to decimal 16 okay this is the binary for that you can go through this table and if you get any doubts you can ask me later so decimal number system is a number system with a with base 10 okay how we position it how we represent it is the weightage is given like the first digit okay if suppose the number i give is is 256 okay this is the zeroth position and first position and second position and this number is a digital number so i can write it as this is a number with a base 10 to represent the uh, sorry de decimal number to represent the decimal number we use uh, this form okay we enclose them in brackets and write uh, in subscript okay 10 so that that represents the decimal number base with the base 10 the first digit is in zeroth position so we the weightage given is 10 power 0 and 10 power 1 the second uh, position and the third bit of the third position takes the uh, is this position and it is uh, this 10 is the base okay 10 power 2 the position zeroth position first position and the second position and binary system in the same way here it is a uh, yeah it has the base 2 so we represent it as uh, yeah 2 power 0 the first position okay the weightage will be given as you will understand this in more detail when we do the calculations okay so here 2 power 0 2 power 1 the second position bit at the th third position 2 power 2 and bit at the third position uh, 4 sorry yes zeroth position first second and third position four fourth and fifth position and here the uh, rightmost digit is called the least significant bit and the uh, leftmost digit is called the most significant bit okay here if you take this in binary number one one zero one zero zero is the least significant bit of this number and most significant bit of this particular binary number is this one okay the weightage that can be applied to this is 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 and 2 power 4 octal number system it is a system with a base 8 okay so here digits 0 to 0 to 7 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 can be represented and the weightage is 8 power 0 the first position bit at the first position with the base 8 so it is 8 power 0 8 power 1 8 power 2 and bit at the third position okay is uh, represented this way and hexadecimal it is a number system with the base 16 so as we uh, saw earlier 0 to 9 the symbols that can be represented using hexadecimal numbers are 0 to 9 and a to f where a is equal to 10 in decimal 
and b is equal to 11 and so on till f f is equal to 15 in decimal okay decimal 0 to 15 16 numbers totally that comes in, in hexadecimal number system the weightage of the position 16 power as it is uh, the number with the base 16 we uh, represent it as 16 okay 16th uh, is number with the base 16 and which is at the zeroth position 16 power 0 16 power 1 16 power 2 and so on okay so conversion among the bases conversion among these numbers are possible you can as i told you any number given in decimal system uh, uh, no number system the computer cannot understand so it has to be converted in, to binary for processing so it has to be converted to binary and uh, at the output side binary number has to be converted back to decimal and octal has to be converted to binary form even octal can be converted to decimal how to convert uh, uh, no, between these numbers yeah we will discuss the rest in the next class okay how to convert between numbers